Hi, this is Bruce Naylor, The Frugal Tech, and you probably have seen some of my YouTube videos. We also do a show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Daylight Time, called Frugal Tech Live. And I've been asked by viewers of our live stream to kind of give a, a tour of the studio that we use. And I want everyone to know that this is also my office. This is where I work at every day. And uh, so, but I would, thought I would show everybody just the equipment that we use and uh, the view that I have of everything. So, uh, starting on the desktop, you see my MacBook Pro. It's a 15.6 inch Mac Pro with the uh, Intel in i5 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. Over here, we have a Behringer USB 1204 uh, mixer. And that mixer uh, has the uh, Marshall MXL 990 microphone. Actually, we're going to have a second one arrive in a few days. As well as there is the Sony uh, HD Studio Monitor headphones. Very nice headphones right here. Very nice, very comfortable, very light. So coming around, of course, there's Max. My uh, little robot parrot there. This is the, uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing video on this. It's the new Magic Trackpad from Apple. And I'll explain why Frugal Tech spent the uh, $69 for this device in a YouTube video. Various papers and so forth. This is the boom stand. It's a scissor boom. that the Marshall MXL is mounted to. Uh, there's the pop filter on there. It's a very nice microphone, great sound quality. Again, the uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, this is where I pull up the show notes when I'm talking to people and also keep an eye on the chat room and, and uh, you know allows us to uh, talk to folks on the live stream. Another view of the mixer. I've been asked about the displays. There are three displays. Dual 22-inch um, Acer displays, widescreen, uh, on the uh, side. And a 24-inch Asus in the middle. That's a uh, Logitech Pro 9000 webcam. I use that when I make Skype calls. Sometimes I go on other... Uh, shows and I'll use that on the desktop an uh, Audio Technica AT2020 USB microphone that I use uh, for Skype interesting little widget there that's uh, from Griffin um, basically I used to use that a lot with uh, iMovie HD but it's programmable you can use it as a scroll wheel uh, you know editing through timelines or if you're in a web browser scrolling up and down and I've kind of kept it somewhat as a conversation piece. Don't really use it much anymore. This is my uh, Logitech MX performance mouse and the remote control to our uh, Canon HV30 uh, high definition camcorder right there. That's the control to the speakers, the Logitech, I believe they're Z51s. I believe that's the model that they're hooked up to. Apple Magic Mouse. Now you notice I've got two mice and I'm actually hoping that the Magic Trackpad will uh, make life a little bit better for me. We're going to do a YouTube video and open that up and there's another shot of the mixer right there. Now it's a little dark underneath my desk but right there is the uh, Mac Pro. It's a quad-core Xeon with hyper threading. 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got three internal hard drives. Very nice machine, very powerful. Runs, I uh, also use uh, Windows 7 um, in a virtual machine, Windows 7 Ultimate in a virtual machine on this computer. There's the uninterruptible power supply. Like I said, I apologize, it's kind of dark down here, but you get an idea. Subwoofer. And then you get a, another idea coming up here. There's the microphone. My uh, 
GFI software poster, and my text clock that I happen to like very, very much. And this is kind of the view then when I'm doing this show um, as I'm talking to people. Now you're seeing what I'm looking at. Let's uh, go on. There is a softbox right here. I actually have two of these. Uh, only one put together right now. There are five 500 uh, watt cool lights in there. Very bright, but yet it doesn't generate a tremendous amount of heat uh, on a, on a uh, tripod stand. This is the Canon HV30. The microphone, although it's hooked up, uh, is not in use. It's turned off. And you can kind of get a better view of that. This is the station where we have Wirecast running. This is a late 2006 24-inch iMac with an Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 3 gigs of memory, running Wirecast. And it has its own separate internet connection just for that purpose. Uh, cordless phone. That is the uh, Apple Airport Extreme base station. Wonderful wireless router. Works fantastically. Highly recommended. Uh, down here are two, you may not be able to see them very clearly, two cable modems. The one on the left is for the live stream, the one on the right is for the office. Moving along, another uninterruptible power supply. And the computer to the left is the HP Media Smart home server that we use for file sharing. Uh, as well. So very very nice little machine, highly recommended. Does work as also a time machine. And then finally, bring this down here. This is the uh, Dell Dimension E521. It's got an AMD dual core processor. And we remote into this via uh, the Microsoft Remote Desktop. Right there. So, and of course, wouldn't be complete without Stewie. That's Ninja Stewie right there. Another view from behind. You can see just a lot of wires. There is a, quite a bit of space behind beside the wall and the displays. Another view of the mixer, which beginning to look like a snake pit with all the wires. There's going to be yet another uh, Marshall MXL 990 hooked up to here as well. Coming around. Uh, we did have an Xbox 360 hooked up to this 26 inch JVC uh, television but it's no longer in use. There is a 24 port Linksys switch which is out of service right now. And then finally An Epson Workforce 600 multifunction uh, printer right there. And then turning back around, curtains, curtains, back to my workstation. And this is where I spend most of my day right here working on Frugal Tech Live and running my software business. And, uh, well, just wanted to share this with you and, uh, let you see what uh, the equipment that we had and uh, answer some questions. Take care, everybody.